Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time when we left off we had successfully crossed through the Pengu and had entered the Taiyong Medical Tower. So let's pick it up there. <laughs> We've read that already in the last video. Recorded evidence. I think I said hard evidence last time because it faded a little too soon. <laughs> Locate recorded evidence. <clears throat> so here we are. Now there is a ghost and smooth operator bonus tied to this objective. Find and view Van Bruggen's recording. Van Bruggen said he stashed evidence tying TYM's president to the attacks on Seraf Industries on a surveillance server somewhere in this tower. Pritchard thinks it will be in the data core room. Time to get inside and locate a terminal. So the initial part of the tower is public, as they said. Or as Pritchard said. You'll also notice we've got security stations again. You can see on a different level than me, either above or below, there's a, there's a bot. Civilians, as usual, don't matter, but we can talk to them. Hmm. You must be one of the new promotions. Physically augmented workers like you are usually found in the cryo storage pool. In the lower building. I'll warn you right now. Stay out of the way or you will find yourself right back in the basement. Lifting heavy objects for a living. I'll warn you right now. Alright, in this section we've got two security bots and six human enemies. We'll do the same thing we did last time. Take down the humans. You know, knock them out. Look, there's Upper Hengsha. We never get out there. We only see it through the TYM wind windows. So enjoy it. This Wait. is unacceptable. I need to get into Legion Lab immediately. Yes, I understand that I'm the one who lost my access card, but it's your job to provide me with a new one immediately. I have important deadlines to meet. How the how the. I don't know if you've ever lost your access card before, but it can be extremely frustrating trying to get a new one. They act with such incompetence in administration sometimes. They act with such incompetence in administration sometimes. Are you recently up from the manufacturing plant? Yes. You have the uh, look of a lower city worker. Yes. You have the... Okay. Let's hack this alarm panel. Civilians probably won't like it, but I don't care. Access granted. Nuke virus, 75 XP. Disable the alarm. Oh look, nobody cares. Beautiful. So let's keep moving. We have a quota to meet. Do your part. If you are not going to do your job, at least let me do mine. Tai Young Medical, worldwide leader. Li Ging Memorial Laboratory. Right. And I give it a good tug, and suddenly the vending machine starts tipping. Oh shit. Oh shit is right. Luckily they're later than most vending machines. I honestly thought it was the end for a second. Death by a vending machine. <laughs> How pointlessly tragic. Let's just do a clean double takedown on those dudes. And now let's hack the this door to the security station. Right. Access granted. 100 XP from the data store, plus 75 for the door. Let's open this up. I don't know why my game is so laggy. 
Sorry about that. It usually fixes itself after a little bit when this is going on. Hopefully that'll continue to be the case. Anyway, let's drag these two in here. He's got 25 heavy rifle bullets. It's only when I'm out here. Let's get this one too. He's got a pocket secretary. Access codes, Li Gang Memorial Laboratory, from C TYM Security to Staff, Li Jing Laboratory. Please be advised, the Li Gang Memorial Laboratory access code has been updated. It is now 4713. Okay, that's fine. We just searched him for the pocket secretary. Now, let's check this room carefully, because you see there's still a hostel out there. We got two boxes of tranquilizer darts. Another access card, which you still won't want to take. There's a vent cover. We'll explore that in a bit. We got two boxes of machine pistol ammo. And the drawer is empty. On the desk is a box of combat rifle ammo. And here is the security hub, so let's hack it open. I'm just going to go for the server. Access granted. 100 XP in a nuke virus from the data stores, plus 75 XP for the hack. Let's turn off the camera, leave the robot for now. Do the same thing I've been doing. I will turn it friendly once. I've taken uh, all the human enemies down. Everybody out here still cool with me? Yeah, awesome. Have you had any trouble with the security personnel? Some of these Bell Tower people have a bad attitude. The two around the corner wanted money from me. Can you believe that? You have to wonder if they're here for our security or just to intimidate us. The two around the corner wanted money from me. Can you believe that? You have to wonder if they're here for our security or just to intimidate us. Scheduled rest period is not for another 45 minutes. Do you mind? I have a job to do. We have a quota to meet to do your part. If you are not going to do your job, at least let me do mine. Okay. It's like everyone is still pretty relaxed. Restricted area. Laboratory A3. Laboratory A2. Storage room. Let's check out the storage room. You can usually find some goodies in these. But apparently not here. Ah, here we go. So let's head in here. I bet this connects to the security office we were just in. Yes, it does. Okay, what else do we have? Laboratory A1 is unlocked. Safety zone. Here's a security bot. Maybe the other security bot is inside that safety zone. So, since I see no other humans, Let's deal with this last guy. Can't first. let you in. Access to the lab is strictly forbidden without a Lee Gang access pass. Damn it. Must have left it at my desk. Be back in a bit. You're back. You bring your Lee Gang pass this time? Damn it. Must have left it at my desk. Be back in a bit. 
Yeah, he's by himself, so. Do that the easy way. He's got a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar, six combat rifle ammo. Let's hide him in the security room where we hid the other two. And then, since it looks like the hallways, at least, are clear of enemies, I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I'm gonna place an EMP mine back here. Then I'll figure some other way to deal with the last bot. Well, he's not on the right level. So I must be... I must be seeing a different bot. Let's do be certain of that, though. In the meantime, though, I definitely know that one is here, so... Place the MP mine. Now I will let the bot out. He's handled. No problem. Maybe I can use frag mines for the others. It'd be nice, I guess we'll see. Oh, nobody even... Okay. She heard the explosion and didn't like it. But civilians don't matter. Yeah, nothing over here yet. Okay. Let's keep going then. Let's start by checking out Laboratory A1, which is unlocked. Fifty credits in there. Awesome. It's, this computer's unlocked. Let's just read the emails. From Deng Dai Yu to Li DeLong. Re. Regarding testing side effects. Mr. Li. I am contacting you to follow up on my complaint about the terrible side effects I suffered after undergoing tests at your facilities. I wrote to you last month about these problems, but you have not responded to me. I am now prepared to go to the authorities for help. I don't believe you wish for this outcome. Please respond. Deng Dai Yu, test patient number A43011. From Zheng Li Li to Li DeLong, test patient number A43011. Thank you for bringing this matter to our attention. Madam Zhao assures me that our legal team is now handling it. I doubt you will receive an additional communications from Ms. Deng, and under no circumstances should you contact her yourself. Zhang Li Li, Executive Assistant, Taiyang Medical Corporation. From TYM System Administrator to all TYM staff, your mailbox is reaching its limit. This message was automatically generated. Dear valued employee, your inbox has exceeded one or more size limits set by your administrator. Your inbox size is currently at two emails. Mailbox size limits, four emails. To make more space available, immediately archive any items that you are no longer using or move them to your personal folder file. Emails contained within your personal folder can later be accessed via submission of a formal request to the presiding archives administrator. See client help for more information. Remember, be neat, be tidy, be safe. It worries me to see someone walk down this hall. Wonder where they went. Oh, she's gonna sit back here, apparently. No time to talk. You want to get me in trouble? Don't you have something to do? Right. Now let's poke around the, the rest of this joint. We got some crates, and back here, the real prize. Typh three things of Typhoon ammo, a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Pack, crossbow arrows, two bottles of whiskey. And up here, looks like a nuke virus. If I can just get him to pick it up. Very good. Anything up there? No. All right. Let's just close this door. I don't want anybody wandering in and seeing those guards. Not that there are any enemies left out here, but 
Can't really be too careful. Now let's hack the door to Laboratory A2. If I just make sure to go through the data store on my way to the exit, it'll all be good. Access granted. 150 credits, 50 XP for the hack. Let's go in. First, let's check the drawers. We got a tranquilizer dart. That's handy. It's like we got two computers and a door into laboratory A3. Let me make sure that door's not locked from the other side. This one starts out unlocked. This one we would need to hack. But first, let me... Oops. Let me check things out here in A3. Probably nothing too valuable since it started out unlocked. Nothing at all except a computer. Now let's tap this computer. From Peng Zhao Long to Tam Ying Tai, Li Jiang access card. Ms. Tam, your access card to the Li Jiang Laboratories has been found in the Biosensor Laboratory. It is at security awaiting retrieval. You have been made aware of our security protocols. We must remain vigilant about such things. Do not let this happen again, Peng. From TYM management to all TYM staff, mailbox regulations. A reminder to all Taiyang medical employees. Strict adherence to the current limit of four emails per inbox is mandatory for all personnel. Failure to follow directives set by your department's administrator can and will result in immediate disciplinary actions being taken against repeat offenders. Immediate archival of all communication is not just policy, it's the law. Be neat, be tidy, be safe. Alright, let's hack this one open. Oh, we can just... We can just go for the red. That's the easy way. Access 100 credits, 100 XP, a nuke virus, a stop worm, 50 XP for the hack. Good thing I didn't just open the door. So I've already done everything ex searched except for tapping the computers. So let's read them. From Lai Jing Frey to Wang Chan Fan, reply, faulty materials. Jin Fan, you are such an idealist. As much as you want us to be one of those American boutique companies, it will never happen. We are not a niche player. Our profit comes from rethinking and re-engineering the product line. Value for money, that's the name of the game for us. The Dragon Queen is not about to change the way we do business. Jing Frey. Wang Chin Fan wrote, Jing Frey, Regarding the production of arm and leg augmentations, I have cause for concern about the substitution of D-polymers with petroleum-based thermoplastics. While the thermoplastics save money, there seems to be a persistent problem with degradation. We should meet about this ASAP. Chan Fan. And on the other computer... From Sun Jin Sheng to Xu Ting Shui, is it true? Ting Zhe, I just heard the news and I simply cannot believe it is true. How can they be letting you go? It is a highly competitive market out there right now, and you are one of the best researchers I know. Always so diligent and innovative and so careful to double check all of your work. It is simply unbelievable. Please see me before you leave. If you haven't left already, I may have a few people you can call. Take care, Ting Zhe. Z. All right. Now, let's see what's through this vent right quick. Looks like an alternate entrance into the Li, Gang, Li Jing Memorial Lab. Yes, that's exactly what it is. I don't want to mess with that. I want to hack the main entrance. So first, let's hack the alarm panel right next to it. Awesome. Now what do we have here? Okay, we can't get to the red. Okay. 
Access granted. 100 credits, a stop worm, 25 XP. Let's turn it off. Now, let's hack the main entrance. This time I can get to the red, so let's just do that. It's always easiest. Access granted. 100 credits, 100 XP, plus 25 XP, and now the door is open. Let's head in. Huh? I saw that. Oh, we're not supposed to be in here, though. So I need to be careful about the guards. There's one upstairs. Plus I saw two over there. Let's try and get the upstairs guy first. Oh, the civilians don't like me either. Okay. Maybe I should be more open to using the vent. Or maybe now if I pick up an access card, they'll leave me alone. Let's try, let's try that. Added one access card. See, it would be in quest items in my inventory. Oh yeah, hacked smart card. I never looked at this. Hacked Tai Young medical employee card. A Tai Young medical employee identification card that used to belong to Bell Tower security guard Ren Waifu. Arya Van Bruggen altered the card's integrated circuit using biometrics obtained from your passport, so the card will now enable you to gain access to Tai Young Medical's lower city factory via the employee shuttle. And this access card, Lijiang Memorial Access Card, a security card that provides access to the Lijiang Memorial Laboratory in the upper half of the Taiyong Medical Building. Perfect. Now let's try this again. Yes, with the access card, everyone stays friendly. Why we are going to distribute a biochip that we didn't design ourselves? We just got to keep working and meet our deadlines. I know, but I don't understand why we are going to distribute a biochip that we didn't design ourselves. Questioning it is a waste of time. All I know is the shipping department needs this chip ASAP, so that's what we're going to give them. All right. Well, we got two guys arranged very nicely for a double takedown over here in the security office. Let's head in there and pay them a visit. Well, I heard there are secret meetings going on in the upper tower with some pretty important people. There's so many rumors going around you can't trust anything you hear. I just wish they'd tell us what's going on. I, I hate being in the dark. Relax. When I heard about the Dutchman, I just figured it was another attempt to get dirt on Seraph. I thought that too, but these new biochips they're working on? I don't know. Something colossal is going on. Is anyone there? Oh man. I forgot I can't do it if guys are sitting down. I hate that. Alright, well. Let's find something to throw. That should get him to stand up. Hmm. Usually does anyway. Heck, I can even bring it in from out here. If I can just get the guy to stand up, everything will be easy. Takedown wise, anyway. I don't understand why we are going to distribute a biochip that we didn't design ourselves. We're just going to keep working and meet our deadline. 
deadline. I know, but I don't understand why you're going to disagree with our trip to... <laughs> Much better. Okay, there is a lock on that side of the door. I was worried about that. Hey. I don't understand why we are going to distribute a biochip that we didn't design ourselves. We just gotta keep working and meet our deadline. Well, it starts out unlocked. So let's just do that again. Everybody okay? I hope so. He's got machine pistol ammo. want to drag him by drag them both behind some sort of cover yeah he should be okay let's grab the other one do the same thing he's got five shotgun cartridges Let's go out and see if everyone is still calm. They are, good. Let's chat with the scientists. There doesn't seem to be any correlation between, oh, I'm sorry. I must be distracted. I thought you were someone else. Here's one. Ah, hello. It is very commendable when someone like you shows interest in our work. I would try to explain it, but you obviously would not understand. I would try to explain it, but you obviously would not hmm. understand. Sorry, but I don't have time. We have a major deadline to meet. Please, just let me do my work. Please, just let me do my work. <laughs> Sorry, but if you don't have anything important to tell me, well, I have a lot of work to do. I don't want to be rude, but my work requires a lot of concentration. I don't want to be rude, but my work requires a lot of... Okay. Looks like everything is still good, so let's head up to the second floor. Bag the last human guard. Nice night. Wish I was out in the city having fun instead of in here. Drag him out of sight of the camera. Okay. Everyone down there still calm? Yes. Is there anyone else up here? No. Okay, is he carrying anything? No. Alright, now we can... Better focus on clearing out the lab. So let's start by poking around the main laboratory and seeing what we can find. Here's an unlocked computer. From Kong Bao Ri to Jin Mao, backblast problem. Jin, I need your help on this one. The penthouse just sent down an incomplete design schematic for a military grade augmentation, something that could really give our side a leg up in Australia. Problem is, I can't see how a soldier can activate it without getting killed by a backblast effect. Can you drop by my lab? Bowery. Here's a pocket secretary. Li Zheng side lab, from Wan Hui to Lai Jing Fei. Thank you, Jing Fei. I will carry the codes with me. Hui, it has come to my attention that you may need to access the computer located in the side lab of the Li Jing Memorial Laboratory for your research. If so, here they are. Login L Jing, password Ji Hong. Okay. 
I see nothing else there. So let's check this table. Nothing. Here's another unlocked computer. From Wang Qin Chan Fan to Lai Jing Frey, faulty materials. Jing Frey, regarding the production of arm and leg augmentations, I have cause for concern about the substitution of D polymers with petroleum based thermoplastics. While the thermoplastics save money, there seems to be a persistent problem with degradation. We should meet about this ASAP. Chan Fan. Okay. Let's look in this hood. Nothing. This hood. Nothing. This hood. Nothing, amazingly enough. That cabinet. Don't see anything. So, let's just keep poking around. Here's a another unlocked computer. From Wang Xian to Lin Peixi. Reply, poor integrity results. I understand your concern, but after reviewing the results myself, I believe your fears are overstated. Now I must insist that you do not pursue this issue further. The madame is a very busy woman and does not take kindly to these issues crossing her desk. Trust me. Wang Xian, VP Testing Division, Taiyang Medical Corporation. Lin Pei Shi wrote, Sir, I am concerned at the number of serious material flaws showing up in all of our jointed augmentations. Various spectrum analyses results, Takahashi parabolic and Takahashi substructural, indicate to me that the integrity of the connective nanotube clusters are being compromised in some way, most likely by the substitution of less expensive carbopolymer filaments in the morphic membranes. I really think we should insist that the materials originally called for in the design specifications be reintegrated into the production process. I would be more than willing to show you the test results myself if you need convincing. Respectfully, Lin P. And there's nothing on this desk. Aha! This would have been bad to miss. Really bad. 200 XP, Hugh Darrow ebook. Radical evolution is a reality. Comments by Hugh Darrow on No Future, broadcast November 9th, 2011, 9 o'clock p.m. PST, on the Picus News Network. Hi, Oh, undoubtedly Garou got it right. I read the man's work and I see no reason to contradict him. He talks about the three futures and I see the lines toward them stretching out from this moment. That's what we are doing at Darrow Industries. We're building the possibility. One future is where human beings are supplanted by newer, better, smarter versions of themselves. The next year's model of mankind, if you can call it that. Garou called that the heaven scenario. Then there's the claptrap spouted by doomsayers who claim we'll all be dead before 2050 or something. That's the hell scenario. And then there's the prevail scenario, and to be quite honest, I imagine that's the one that's most likely to come about. That third option is where tomorrow lies undetermined, where we make the world anew as it happens. You can't simply bolt a machine limb to a man, gift him with post-human ability, and to not expect it to radically change him. Okay, <clears throat> now let's check the side labs, starting with A4, which is where we would have come in through the vent. Hmm. Ebook, Li Jiang Research, Update Progress Status Report. 1. Cybernetic Leg Prosthesis, Model 6543.01, Jaguar. Built on framework of polymers and lightweight alloys, electrostimulated plastic cables mimic and greatly strengthen muscle tissue feedback and action. Developing motor dynamic system and shock absorbing liquid polymer buffers. Prototype 65% completion pending stress tests, final metrics, and anal analytics. Reveal date 45 days. 2. Hacking device model 000123.4. Not for general public. Cranial implant. Dedicated microcomputer module employing circuit of processors and databases programmed with multiple code breaking and counter cryptography subroutines. Unit capable of identifying and providing intrusion solutions for over 5 million discrete software barriers. Prototype 95% completion pending final circuit and processor evaluations stress testing. Reveal date 10 days. Nothing in that drawer. So. This computer is locked with a level 2 lock, so let's hack it even though we have the login and password. We can go to the reds, so let's just do that. Since I have to get all the way over there anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Access granted. 50 XP in a nuke virus, plus 50 for the hack itself. From Zhao Yun Ru to Kong Bao Rui, military augmentation. I recognize that the design schematics you received are incomplete. Transmission was severed, and there is absolutely zero chance now that we will recover the missing data. I don't care. You have enough there to understand the basic theory. Modified combat chassis, shaped microcharges, explosive steel balls that detonate when propelled outward. Deconstruct it, get creative, and find a way to make it work. It is what I pay you to do. Z. Oh, so they they steal in our typhoon. Not that we didn't really know that, but next, let's hack this alarm panel. Ah, uh, good. We'll just go to the red. Not only that, but it's short. Access granted. Nuke virus, 75 XP. Disable the panel. Now that we're now, let's search the security office and hack open the security hub. Nothing on the desk. Inside the drawers, there's a box of combat rifle ammo. So let's hack the security hub. All right. This one I actually need to plan a little bit. If I go here, and get the data store, then make a complete loop to get the other two. So that's what I'll do. Right, I'm gonna use my nukes to get through most of these. I think I have time to get the last one. So 150 credits, a nuke virus, a stop worm, and 75 XP from the security hub. Now, let's turn off the camera. And, well, I need to figure out where that robot is. So I'll save. Set it to attack enemies. And then try to find it. It just killed somebody upstairs. On whatever level it's on. Enpro stock had taken a dip earlier in the day as rumors began to Okay, the robot's out here. And there are guards to deal with first. Good to know. So before I release that robot, we'll head out onto that catwalk. National Giant, inform me that it has successfully purchased rival corporation N Protech of Scotland. We've been getting a lot of complaints about the temperature in the data core room. Too hot? No, too cold. I think there's too much air coming in from one of the vents. I have a checker. <laughs> Civilians don't count, but, you know, she was standing there. He's got 25 credits. Eight combat rifle bullets. I'm gonna drag him back into the laboratory. Sources close to the multinational giant inform me that it has successfully. Taken a dip earlier in the day as rumors began to circulate. All right, let's move her to... I'm sure it was just a clerical error, quipped Zhao Yunru, CEO of Taiyong Medical, as transfer of ownership was officially declared. The purchase gives Taiyong a significant... Now... I'd like to... 
Let's try, f let's see if a frag mine does the trick. That sure make it easy. Let's just lay a frag mine. Oh, not on the door, Jensen. That won't do. Needs to be on the floor, son. Let's try again. There we go. Now let's release the bot and see what happens. How millions of dollars in revenue ended up. Hmm. I don't understand why we are going to distribute a biochip that we didn't design. I think it went off, but it wasn't sufficient to destroy the bot. Yeah, frag. Someone's fooling around. Fragmine won't cut it. So let's just release it and then hit it with my EMP grenade, I guess. Not a whole lot else I can do. Sources close to the multinational. Shut up, Eliza. We'll go listen to her in a minute. There we go. Now the bot is handled. And I can go back here and finish off the laboratory. So let's hack this alarm panel next. It's a long train, but there's a data store down there anyway, so might as well just head straight this way. I hit I hit that level six directory with a nuke virus. Two hundred credits, nuke virus, seventy five XP, and of course, disable the panel. We got two exits up here. That's intriguing. Hi, Hop. I go out this one. First, I find another alarm panel, which is handy. And I see a very easy route to get everything out of it. A stop worm, 75 XP, and we'll disable the panel. Interesting. Okay. Looks like B3 and B2 started out open. So that's fine. This drawer has a Praxis kit. Excellent. Let's get the second inventory upgrade. Yeah, I'll spend my next Praxis on the last inventory upgrade. Unlocked computer. 
from Wang Xian to Wu Ming Li. Reply, safety concerns. Ming Li, this is a difficult situation. I will have to take it to the penthouse myself. But don't wait for an answer before starting the production run. Wang Xian, VP Testing Division, Taiyang Medical Corporation. Wu Ming Li wrote, the results are back for this month's product tests, and to be blunt, they are not good. We have persistent problems with thermoplastic wear. All jointed augments are breaking down quickly after the basic stress tests. I respectfully request that you tell administration to postpone the launch date until we can be certain that the entire product line will not be rejected as lemons. Ming Li. <laughs> From Sun Zhen Sheng to Wu Ming Li. Be prudent. Ming Li, I heard you voiced your feelings about some faulty products to the VP. I know you were a man of integrity, but you must remember what happened to Ting She. He was let go one week after raising his voice about the new forearm augmentations. From one friend to another, sometimes it's best to swallow your pride and just let things go. Just saying. Stun gun darts, we've already heard this Lazarus message, thankfully. So, let's try Laboratory B3. Oh, we got two employees in here. And a locked door, and a computer. Let's talk to the people first. Are you recently up from the manufacturing plant? Yes. You have the, uh, look of a lower city worker. Yes. You have the, uh, look of a lower city worker. Hmm. You must be one of the new promotions. Physically augmented workers like you are usually found in the cryo storage pool in the lower building. I'll warn you right now. Stay out of the way or you will find yourself right back in the basement, lifting heavy objects for a living. I'll warn you right now. Stay out of the okay. way or you will find Let's yourself hack the door. Nice short route straight to the server. Access granted. Nuke virus. Layla. 75 Layla. XP. I don't want you alerting anybody. Let's just settle down. Okay. Now I need to hack this computer, but let's just move her body out of here. Now let's hack this one. It's also security rating 3. It's another one with a nice short route right to the server. 300 credits, a nuke virus, a stopworm, 75 XP. From Wang Xian to Hao Junji, Guaran. You were right to bring this to our attention. Gua is a new hire and has not yet been briefed on our testing procedures. Give me 24 hours to explain them to him and then send the items back down. Wang Xian, VP Testing Division, Taiyong Medical Corporation. From manufacturing to Hao Junji, new parts for testing. Researcher Hao, the manufacturing department has completed a test run of several of your new product designs. There is some concern about durability with hinged parts, joints, ligature, so we would like to send the samples back to you for final testing before we begin mass production. Here is the list of items that are on the way up. Retinal augmentation, 45 units. Prosthetic arm, 95 units. Calf implants, 27 units. Please be sure to run the Takahashi Spectrum Analysis on all parts to determine alloy integrity. Model serial numbers will match up with the testing codes that I sent to you. Politely yours, Guaran. Okay. Let's shut that door. Shut this one. Everybody in here is still calm. That's nice. Finally, let's head out here, and I'm finally ready, I think, to suck it up and listen to Eliza. As rumors began to circulate, accusing CEO Ollie McTavish of embezzlement. McTavish denied the allegations, but could not explain how millions of dollars in revenue ended up in his personal account. 
I'm sure it was just a clerical error, quipped Zhao Yunru, CEO of Taiyong Medical, as transfer of ownership was officially declared. The purchase gives Taiyong a significant increase in global market share. This is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Picus. All right. That's simple enough to understand. There's an alarm panel. So let's hack it, just like we've done with all the others. Access 100 credits, 75 XP. Disable it. Perfect. Data core, server room, this way. Got some dudes over there. Got some plenty of dudes over here. Server rooms, camera, all right, stuff's complicated. Let's start off by hacking the first door I come to here at server room A3. Well, this is easy. 100 XP, nuke virus, 50 XP, unlocked door. Now here's an alarm panel, but there's a guy staring right at me. Need to get rid of him first. Where do you think you're going? The data core room is for authorized personnel only. You're not going to get in there. Let's just leave. I was looking for the cafeteria. Sorry. We got some laser terminals down here, but so we got two guys there, two guys patrolling, who were right next to each other earlier, so looks like five guys total around here, which means that I'm only going to get one. Well, I'm going to do a single takedown on one of them. And then two doubles. I need to disable these lasers before I do anything else. So, but for now, so I need to turn off the camera before I can do a takedown on him. And I need to take him down and turn off the camera before I can hack that alarm. So let's check these other two server rooms first. Here's server room A2. Surely all new security personnel are told not to bother the scientists. I will report this to your superior, you know. I will report this to your superior, you know. 20 credits in the drawer. Where'd the other gal go? Nice and warm here. I just came from the data core archives. It's freezing in there. I suppose you need to keep the service cool. Sure creates a draft in there with all the vents though. I suppose you need to keep the... They'll panic when they see me hacking the computer, so it's easier just to prematurely silence them. Non-lethally, of course. Yeah, we got a security rating 3 computer to hack. She was mean to me, so... I enjoy that. Anyway, let's just drag her out of sight of the door, not that I think anyone's actually patrolling back there. And now let's hack this computer. Right. Okay, I can get to the red and it's 
actually almost as easy as getting to the data stores anyway. One nuke virus. Access 300 credits, 75 XP. From Windmill at HackerNet.net to Narayan Sonam. Pathetic. Fucking A, N boy. You call yourself a network specialist? I was bored last night, so I sliced through the company firewall, remotely accessed the mail server, and fired off a mail or three dozen. Hope your contacts all share your love of porn. Windmill. From Narhari Khan to Narayan... Narayan Sonam. Reply, Van Bruggen. Unfortunately, no. He was hired by the Dragon Queen, not Bell Tower. And until she no longer needs him, he's your problem. NK. Narayan Sonam wrote, He did it again, sir. How am I supposed to protect this company from network attacks when the biggest perpetrator of them all is my direct boss? Can't you do something about him? Alright, let's... Search server room A1. That it has successfully purchased rival corporation N Protech of Scotland. N Pro stock had taken a dip earlier in the day as rumors began to circulate. There's pocket secretary in the drawer. New access codes from Quan C. Ri to Narayan Sonam. Really? You had to send this to me? I wrote the stinking code. TYM Security wrote Login and password update. Attention. Due to malicious actions taken by a former employee, we have been forced to make universal repairs to our firewall and our communications network. As of the next business day, you will be required to use the below listed login and password information. Login S Quan, password Radium. For security reasons, your current code will become val invalid as of midnight tonight. The new code you have been given must be considered top secret. Do not divulge. Security Tai Young Medical. Anyway, let's just keep going. Get rid of all these new tags on all the emails I read. Oh, two guys in here. Ah, hello. It is very commendable when someone like you shows interest in our work. I would try to explain it, but you obviously would not understand. I would try to explain it, but you obviously would not understand. There doesn't seem to be any correlation between, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I must be distracted. I thought you were someone else. 25 credits in that drawer. This computer's unlocked, so let's just hop on. From Narayan Sonam to Quan Si Hui. Reply, Big Brother. I understand it's a lot of reading to stay on top of, but I doubt finance will agree to a new hire. I'll ask Mitnick to refine search parameters. Should help you stay on top of the most sensitive males. Quan C. Rui wrote, Hey boss, I appreciate you lowering the mailbox limit to four, but I'm still having a tough time keeping up on what employees are writing. I'm afraid I won't be able to pinpoint the most dangerous dissidents in time. Any chance I can get some help in here? Oui. See ya. Interesting. Now, I don't think... I think that door is unlocked on the other side, too. I don't think there's any opportunity to hack it. No, there's not. But... Now, with all that done, I need to get to the security office, but getting to the security office means I have to successfully hack these lasers. So let's do that. Access granted. Nuke virus, 25 XP. Disable the lasers. These are still on, but we can get out to the balcony now, which is something, I guess. I saw that. Oh, and suddenly we're... I guess I should figure I crossed the laser grid. I'm no longer allowed to be in the spot. So... I feel like I can definitely pull him and the other patroller together. Especially since they started out together right here. And I admit I don't know for sure. What the hell is that? Gotta be care gotta be more careful than that.
Maybe I can do something simpler. Maybe I can do a good old fashioned throw. If I can just find a movable object down here. Well, maybe not. Well, I know there's one back in Lee Jang, so let's go there and grab a crate. Can I move these? Nope. There's one I can move. I have to go all the way back down to the security office. I don't understand why we Apparently I do. That's okay. Let's get the crate. Carry it upstairs with us. Tai Young in touch with tomorrow. Hey, drawers. Well, wouldn't have mattered that I missed them because they're empty, but I didn't miss them. There they are. Let's open this door and head on out. What I'd like to pull off, if I can, is wanted to do was the hell? I want to pull these two together which I think I can do I think it came from around here you see anything need to pull at least one up here. I wonder if I can get them at the other end of their patrols. If he's really, for some reason, gonna loop all the way around and down the other hallway, well that'll just be perfect. He's going to. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Just get there. Alright, I got two guys. That one's empty. That one's got painkillers and a pocket secretary. Access code DCR backdoor from TYM security to all security staff. Data core room rear entrance access code 0703. This code must be considered top secret. Do not divulge. Okay. Yeah, I was. 
was worried about that. Pull their bodies in here now. Search the two I just took down. Not interested in the machine pistol. Do want the pocket secretary, though. DCR protocol from TYM security to all security staff. As you are aware, the perimeter of the data control room must be kept completely secure. This area is of utmost importance and unauthorized visitors must be kept out at all times according to official protocol. If you require more information regarding sanctioned procedure, please refer to the section titled Lockdown Procedures in the security manual you received during training. This is a code red directive. If you deviate from this directive, you will be summarily disciplined. Interesting. Let's drop the machine pistol since I'm not particularly interested in toting it. Search this guy. Nothing. He's got painkillers. He's got machine pistol ammo. He's got nothing. Okay. Let's check the drawer right quick. Now, where's the security hub? There it is. Let's turn off those cameras. Uh oh. Looks like there are two server nodes. I wasn't paying attention. I hate it when that happens. Let's try again. I also hate it when I hack a level one directory and get detected anyway, but I digress. <laughs> Access granted. Anyway, there we go. We got 10 XP, a nuke virus, and 25 XP. Now we're in the hub. Let's turn off both cameras. I'm gonna call that good for now. I'm gonna go ahead and disable these lasers for ease of transit. I got two exit nodes and two data stores. Access granted. 400 credits, 75 XP. Disable the lasers. All is well. All right. Now I saw data core room. A rather large gentleman wandering around down here. Can't help but wonder if there's a way to do a double take down on him and the other door guard. I'm thinking no. Storage room, we got a pro energy bar. Stop! Yeah, he's. I'm reasonably certain that he's too far away from the other guy for, us, for me to pull them together, but maybe not. I mean, they're in the same area. I can give it a try. Especially since, you know, I have inventory space so I can expend the gunshots. Let's fire a shot right here. 
See if we can't get them both to come. Someone's fooling around. Closer to each other. This is the spot. Yeah, it's possible. I just need to figure out a better, a smoother way to do it. And I'll be able to pull these two together. Let me just let me grab these machine pistols and get all the ammo I can. And then I think the main thing I need to do is just find the right place to pull the trigger where they can both hear it. Perfect. Yeah, they're going right next to each other. Hello? I heard you. Ah, <gasps> oh, damn it, Jensen. They were right next to each other. Why didn't you just do the double? That's okay. I figured out how to do it. That's what matters. That's always what matters. They, they'll, they'll get close enough together. I'm almost certain. Unless it does something crazy like that and turns him around for no reason. Yeah, why is he coming back this way? The gunshot was over there. You can't be serious! How is he seeing the bodies? This is horse shit. No! No, I refuse to buy it! He's got no reason to just turn around and come this way instead. Well, the latest autosave was a little ways back. But yeah, it was when I brought the crate up here. Let's try quick loading again now. See if maybe it behaves more normally. Nope, he's decided. Stop right there. He's decided to come in here. 
This is maddening. I hate it when the game glitches. I've got something. Fuck this noise. I guess he might be. <sighs> oh, what the fuck ever. No choice, gotta back up. What have I already done? I haven't taken down any of the guards, but I have hacked server room three. I've hacked the computer in server room two. So I assume I've hacked the first laser grid over here. But all of the security people are still standing. And yes, in fact, that is where I find myself. Okay. Well, I think... I think the problem might be that as he runs by, he sees the bodies through the window. Which I don't which means I don't know why he just ran past them the first time. It's fairly obvious that he did. I'm not gonna spend too much time questioning that. Which way does he go? What the hell is Okay, he turns around but he makes they make certain that his route covers the entire area when he does. That's fine. Let's just let him go over there. Wait till he's on the balcony. It's not gonna do me any good. I think it came from around here. He doesn't want to chat with me. Tell you what I think will be easier to do is pulling these two together and then pulling the standing guard to the other patroller. Let's try that.
Stop right there. Yeah, no dice. Mm. Let's try this. Oh, yeah. I'm a little surprised, actually, that my concussion grenade only pulled one bad guy. Let's try it again. Although now I'm worried it's going to pull too many. Yeah. Or not enough. Seems like I can only... Seems like Concussion Grenade, at least, is only going to pull one of these guys at a time. <sighs> Hell, maybe I should go balls out and do a frag grenade. That should get their attention. <laughs> yeah, everybody's attention. Now, of course, the question is how to isolate them. I don't like what's going on here. Yeah, no, I'd rather just pull two at once. I feel like I've got to be able to do it. Where is the other guy? Is he just not bothered by concussion grenades? Stop right there. He's not close enough to see it. Seems like my big problem here is just a lack of patience. What I need to do is wait until they're both walking this direction, and then give it a try. Yeah, here they come.
I'd rather not use up all those resources, though. I think I've teased out the best way to do this. To actually pull them together once they're in the same sort of range. She's one of my jars. And I may turn out to not even need the jar, but... 125 credits, and 25 heavy rifle bullets, plus the pocket secretary we've already read, the data core, room, rear access. Uh, let's get rid of all these new tags. First thing I want to do now is hide these bodies in the storage room back here. There's one. Grab the other and do the same thing. Next, I want to see where that vent goes. Probably right into the data core, but... It'd be nice to be sure. Got a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar. Can't go wrong with those. Now let's check things out in here. Uh, it's brought me in right into the security room. Installation of the security upgrades in the data core room. Good. Now nothing can move around in there undetected. Laser detection, surveillance cameras, and the sentries are all running at the highest level of efficiency. It's quite the light show in there. Especially when the server unit's on. I'm sure it's high-tech heaven. Plus, the first intervention team is stationed nearby. Good. Let me get this report to the boss so I'll get off my ass. Ah! <laughs> Alright, let's take those two down. That pocket secretary... We've read already. I've got a praxis point to get the last inventory upgrade. Now what? Can sprint, can, yeah, recoil and aim don't matter. I can get run silent, I can finish dermal armor, I can get smart vision, those are all truly useless. I can get, s let's get the hacking augs next. Let's get stealth, let's get stealth, and then I'll probably get fortify. So those are up next. And okay, let's hide these two bodies. In the vent. That's perfect. No one will see him in there. That we've already read. We got pistol bullets. Yahoo. Get the other body. Stash him in the vent the same way. Let's check these lockers right quick since we're back here. We got revolver ammo, we've got machine pistol ammo, 75 credits. All right. Now, let's go ahead and shut off those cameras again. Remembering what I learned last time. Nuke virus, 10 XP, 25 XP. 
cameras will be it for now. This drawer, 60 credits. Nothing on the desk. This drawer, nothing. Nothing on, oh no, an ebook on the desk. Synthetic thought, the human AI. Can a machine think like a man? Since the late 90s, the scientific community's attempts to construct what one might call a biocomputer system have evolved from pure science fiction to a viable and very real research endeavor. Consider a biomatter device with the capacity to repair itself, to reprogram itself, perhaps even at some advanced levels of complexity to modify its own structure to better perform its assigned tasking. The ongoing maturation of nanobiotechnology has opened the gateway to the construction of nanoscale systems, utilizing biologically derived components merging organic interfaces with the processing capacity of traditionally derived computer architecture. Pioneering designs already exist using patterned variations built on the brain structure of minor phylum rodentia and canines, and the potential for a human scale iteration of this technology is not only possible, but if successful may represent a radical evolution in thinking systems. The computer's unlocked. From Narayan Sanam to Edhas Kumar, password SAS Security Hub. I found another one of Windmill's Easter eggs in our systems, a keylogger installed on the SAS room Security Hub. I got rid of it and changed the login and password. Here are the new ones. Login, Zarvlad. Password, Muan Rule. Can you tell Peng? Alright. Security room is clear. Now, let's hack this laser terminal again. Yes, it's annoying. Yeah, I remember this. Access granted. 400 credits, 75 XP. Let's disable the lasers. Now... Let's focus on pulling these two guards together. It might be easier. Is anyone there? Holy shit! What's that? Oh. Maybe not. Oh, huh, what am I doing? Why don't I just pick up their machine pistols and use a good old-fashioned gunshot. Heck, I can do it right in here. If I fire the shot here... They should both come into the room. the other dude? I mean, I saw him taken the long way around. There he is. Is anyone there? Now that was beautiful. Okay, don't need the machine pistol anymore. Let's stash both these bodies in the vent as well. Another pocket secretary. This one I don't think we've had. Access code, dedicated terminal from TYM security to TYM research staff data core room. Attention all employees who have been given security clearance for the data core room. The access code for the DCR has been temporarily changed to 9762. For security reasons, the code will be rendered invalid after midnight. The other one has nothing. Anyway, let's hide the bodies right quick. This one I think I'll just drag all the way out and down the hall into the storage room. And then I'm going to release and destroy the security bot. 
I think just about everything else has been handled. At least around here. Well, let's let's not do that quite yet. But now that I have the run of this area, let's finally go out and hack that alarm panel that the guard and the camera were staring at. Okay, well this is pretty straightforward. Probably should have nuked that, but doesn't matter. Yeah, we're Access good. Grant. Stop worm, 75 XP. Shut it off. Beautiful. Now there's another alarm panel out on this balcony, which I ignored when all the guards were still running around. Let's hack it now. Okay. This is also very straightforward, but I may not have time. Not without a nuke. Granted. Made back my nuke virus, got 75 XP, shut down the alarm. Now, I think, I'll blow up the robot. I don't have any EMP gear, so I think I'm going to have to try... Oh hell, I know what I'll use. You guys will like this, too. Can't believe I haven't done this yet. Not like I need all of the ammo. Let's open the door. Let the robot out. Let's roll over here. Typhoon! What? Okay, I guess I can't Typhoon the robot without triggering an alarm. That's very sad. Okay, well, let's... I'm gonna have to kill it with frag mines. But... That's gonna be tough, since one frag mine isn't enough to do the job. Guess I'll just have to lay down two. hope it works. Yes, that worked quite nicely. Has the added bonus of not setting off any alarms. Now... Let's open the door. I am reasonably certain there was no way to hack this door. No, no, good. This door to the security station starts off hacked. Now here's the rear entrance. Let's go see if it's hackable, because I can't quite remember. Yes, it is hackable, good. Got the code, but we will hack it. It's level four, but I can get to the server, so no problem. Access granted. 300 credits, 100 XP. And finally, all roads lead to the data core room. So, pocket secretary. 
Data Core Room Security Upgrade from TYM Security to all security staff. Please be advised we have completed installation of the new security features for the Data Core Room. New perimeter synth sensors have been installed, as well the new laser-guided security system has been positioned and is operating within prescribed fluctuation parameters. Please let, it know when you are Please let me know when you are available to meet and I will personally run you through the new features. Bang. Alright. Let's check things out. You see the lasers sweeping through the room, so obviously we can't let any of the lasers hit us. It's like we're protected here. As long as we crouch behind these, we're protected as well. As you can see, it's actually pretty easy for us to make our way through here. That's the first big grid. There you can see the next set. There's nothing on top of any of those or anything like that. Which is a relief. So let's see about getting inside this room. Okay, looks like the bottom laser fizzles enough to let us by. Oh, looks like there's some dudes over there. Matter. Got a pocket secretary here. Urgent access code update from TYM security to Rajesh Kumar. Login and password update. Attention. Due to malicious actions taken by a former employee, we have been forced to make universal repairs to our firewall and our communications network. As of the next business day, you will be required to use the below listed login and password information. Login R. Kumar, password Outback. For security reasons, your current code will become invalid as of midnight tonight. The new code you have been given must be considered top secret. Do not divulge. What else we got in here? Machine pistol ammo in the locker. There's a vent over there, which I think it would be wise for us to try and get into. So let's hop into the vent and see what else we can find. Three more guards. If I can get this one without alerting the other two, it'll be fine. He's got two things of revolver ammo. Let's just drag him into the vent. That's the easy option. <laughs> Had to jump just to get the guy to stand up. And now we're good. He's got 15 credits. He's got six machine pistol bullets. Let's stash them in the vent too.
It's always a good road to victory. I think that's all the human enemies for this segment. Come on. Come on. There you go. Yeah. Flexible. Let's drop the leg. Seriously? Whatever. Alright. Let's shut down some lasers. Let me see what we got. I think it's probably best to go for the red. Yep. Perfect. Access granted. 200 credits, 100 XP, and a nuke virus. And I can shut down... Did I shut down all of the lasers? I might have. That'd be something. Yeah, lasers are off. That's lovely. There is, however, a camera right there. <laughs> now let's pay a little more attention. Alright, let's head through this door. It's got no lock on it on either side, which is good. Check these lockers, find typhoon ammo and revolver ammo. Nothing on this little cart. On this cart, we've got a computer, which we can hack. Security rating 2, so let's do it. Okay, exit's there. Can't get to the server. Got one data store. <laughs> No problem. Nuke virus, 50 XP. We're in. From Narayan Sanam to Rajesh Kumar, Phoenix Insta Messaging Autosave. This conversation was automatically saved in your conversation history. Silent Spy. Saman, you there? Something bad just went down. Wad, what? I don't know. Windmill pinged me. Said he was Puppet Master tonight. On big ass corp infill thing. Needed me to receive. Incoming data for the Queen. Terrific. Data stream was downloading, but then crash! Whole system wigged out. You try reconnecting? Yes, Windmill won't answer. What about the data? Corrupted. Might be able to salvage something, though. Do it. What about Windmill? Think he's hurt? If we're lucky. Either way, he screwed up big time. Alright. With that done, let's head over here. Back to the security room we already handily cleared out. It was unlocked. So let's search it. The weapon cabinet has a gas grenade and three combat rifles. That far right locker has a box of machine pistol ammo. This drawer is empty. These shelves are empty. This drawer has 125 credits. There's nothing on the desk. Nothing on this desk. This drawer is empty. Alright, let's hack the security hub first. Alright. Can't get to the red. The easiest way is just to take this loop through the date to the exit and go through the data store. So that's what we'll do. Access no problem. 25 credits, 50 XP. Turn off the camera. Check this computer. It starts out unlocked. 
From TYM maintenance to all security staff, maintenance report, box guards, past inspection, please be advised that a full maintenance check and diagnostic has been conducted on the box guard units located in the hangar area. All units have passed inspection and are fit for deployment. The next scheduled maintenance report will be conducted at the beginning of the next production cycle. Easy enough. We're out here. Let's hack this alarm panel. Can't get there, so... Gotta pass the data store on the way to the exit anyway. It's really pretty easy. Stop worm. 75 credits. Disable the panel. There's a bot station. Here's another terminal where we can disarm the lasers. So let's go ahead and hack it. All right. Well, this is complex. I just want to take this loop through the data store, go to the exit, get the second data store on the way out. <laughs> Oh, okay. We got plenty of time. Yeah, nothing. 200 credits for Stop Worm, 50 XP. Of course, I'll just leave the lasers off. Now let's set up my welcoming committee for this last bot. Oh, no, 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 Jensen. Only two. You only need two. Just back away carefully. Now let's let the bot out. Got him. Nice and easy. Now, let's head through here. This is where we find the recording, and where I find out if I managed to keep Ghost and Smooth Operator or not. Richard, I'm retrieving Van Bruggen's evidence now. Is Sarah patched in? Right here, Adam. I'm listening. I just heard that your team is mobilizing in Detroit. Why wasn't I informed of this sooner? Tactical assignments are not your concern. Reed and her team have subdermal GPL implants. They'll be tracked. Kidnapping them was a mistake. Montreal took care of that. Forgive me if I don't put as much faith in our friend Eliza as you do. She's too erratic. Your concerns are noted, but I would advise you to concentrate on your own assignments instead of interfering with mine. Namir out. Boss, did you get that? I heard. I, I, I just... Megan and the others. They're alive. We've got to stay focused. Zal is a residence at the top of the tower. It's off limits to everyone except her and her guards. Now get up there. And find out what she knows. Confront. All right. Getting things done. Ghost and smooth operator. Beautiful. So, with that done, I'm going to call it a video. So, I didn't unlock a new Praxis or anything like that. Did I get any quest gear? I don't think so. No. Anyway, I'll just leave that here in the data core room. Yeah. I'll explore the room, read my new goals, everything else later. So, that was the Upper City Labs. Next time on Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution, I will take you through the Tai Young offices in Xiaoyan Ru's penthouse. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye bye.